If you have any questions you want us to answer, just call 219 david p Leave your questions in a voicemail or email us through our website, davidpackman.com. Click on Contact Us. We've been taking a bunch of these. Here is a question about affirmative action. Take a listen. Hello, David Pagman. I call, I'm calling of a guard. Uh, I have a question for you and your host. The host. Uh, I want to know, uh, how, what do you guys feel about affirmative, affirmative action? Um, do you think we should still have affirmative action? Um, because I know that they brought it back in California. I live in California, and we are in uh, desperate need of it because um, they're not really hiring. They 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 weren't really hiring, hiring uh, any minorities um, uh, for uh, the college campuses. So um, that seems like a specific question about California there, but I have some thoughts broadly. Some people say that because President Obama has been elected and because of the Civil Rights Act and because of the fact that discrimination based on race is illegal now, that essentially affirmative action is just completely unnecessary. OK, now I disagree with that. I disagree with it on, on a couple fronts. Number one is if you think about the game Monopoly, right? And this is, I think, one of the best ways to illustrate this. If four players start playing the game, right, and they start acquiring property and building their bankrolls, so on and so forth, and then I don't know, an hour into the game, you bring in another player and you say that player does not need any special accommodations because they they start with the same amount of money we started out with. They're able to purchase whatever properties are available. They're able to do all the same things. They are playing by the exact same rules. The fact that they're coming into the game when their their four opponents own a lot of property for which they, they charge them for if they land on those spaces, so on and so forth means that just having the same rules is very, very, uh, it's not the only factor when you're getting into the game so late. And I think that that is a very good example of why to say, well, legally now discrimination is, 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 not, uh, is not allowed, so we don't need affirmative action, period. I don't buy that. that that's my, my reasoning, Lewis. Okay. And I mean, can we, can we really say what would happen in each state if it were to just not exist? What? what? Well, you might not have to wait that long because the Supreme Court is going to hear an affirmative action case from Texas in this term, and we might get a landmark ruling. So let's say that it's ruled unconstitutional on the basis of race. I think that what we should have, and Dave's monopoly example proves this point, we should have affirmative action based on class, based on income, and not based on race. Because since, unfortunately, uh, minorities are disproportionately poorer than their white counterparts, it would take care of both problems at once. And it's really the issue because no one's arguing that, uh, well, you could argue it, but it's less of a problem among wealthy minorities. It's a problem among poor people. Right. And I guess now I understand what you were getting at, Lewis. The other thing I would bring up is even though there is there is discrimination based on race is illegal but, but, as, on the books as we now know it, there's another issue, which is that of structural racism. And it ties back to not getting a start at the same time, which is what? A lot of people who uh, are, it's really mostly a class thing, and it does disproportionately affect minorities as well. There is structural racism in what neighborhoods have the jobs and what neighborhoods, what residential areas have the, the disadvantaged people as residents and what public transportation exists between those two. And there's a lot of structures, Natan, that are inherently racist in who they affect. That's true. Um, although, once again, I go back to the class issue. This is really a question about class now in 2013, much more than it is a question about race. And if you want to eliminate the need for affirmative action, then you should support Obama's platform of making preschool available to three and four year olds, although he only might have mentioned four year olds. If you apply it to three year olds, education specialists have studied this and they can see that hereditary poverty can be almost eliminated if these kids get an early start. So, Lewis, do you agree also that, in other words, I still think affirmative action needs to address race, even though we're really seeing it through the lens of class right now. It's disproportionately affecting people of certain races. Right. So I think we all agree that we find that affirmative action or something similar is necessary in most of the country. I would agree with that. So keep the questions coming. 2192 david p is our voicemail number. Or submit them via email. We'll keep answering them.